opposite way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of veered a little bit to the left. That's yeah. pretty much the most innocent people you can shoot there. Fuck that. No, not <laughs> the kids. But it's the people that run the office, motherfucker. Oh. The yeah. DMV. Yeah, the, the, the DMV. <laughs> the fucking DMV. None of these are threats. We'll these are all Walter, jokes. One of your yeah, shows, that's right. Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> I can't believe that all these people, the all these over. people that know what's waiting for them, or the minute you even show part of the gun, it's open season on you, oh, and I they know. still do it. Oh, I know, dude. Well, that's because they want to do that, uh, suicide by cop, and because most of these motherfuckers, believe it or not, believe it or not, as stupid as this might sound to maybe y'all and other people, most of these people have been raised with some kind of Christianity. It's so another life. No, 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 no. <laughs> After and, life. And, and if you commit suicide, you go to hell, supposedly. So technically, they're not committing suicide. No, they're not. No. They kind of want to kill. They're, they're on this suicidal path, but they don't want to. They're too scared yeah. to do it themselves. Wow. And if the cop does it, they didn't kill themselves. They fucking could still have a shot at heaven. Maybe. That's their angle, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's suicide by cop because they're Catholic? No, because, yeah. Because they don't want to kill themselves with yeah, their own hands. Yeah, like, because I've heard of that. Hell. Yeah. So if you go, no, fuck you. And like the insurance. Go, I didn't go like this. You can't collect the like insurance this. if it's suicide. Yeah. Kind of yeah, kind exactly. of that angle, right? Yeah. Can't collect yeah, yeah. life insurance if it's suicide. I don't know. If you Unless don't, you had that clause in there. If you don't care about your life that much, go try to at least make money off of it. Sell it off piece by piece. Oh, I know. Like, I thought end. about this, dude. I thought that they should do... Hey, because like most of these motherfuckers were doing stupid shit, going to malls, going to businesses, going to schools, and shooting them all up and then killing themselves. Yeah. And getting the cops to kill them. That was they a were trend. Going out, they yeah. were go, there was a trend for, for, yeah, for before a, the for pandemic. A, yeah. Yeah. And everyone was trying to go out. 2018, 2019, that was yeah. a trend. Well, yeah. those, everyone, those people everyone, are possessed. Yeah. Those, those but are everyone's demons. going out in a blaze of so, glory thinking yeah. this is badass. This is badass, right? So I thought about this. If we could get this program, call it the Zero to Hero program. And what you do, like, since if if it's true, like everyone says, that Big Brother is watching us and this is we're being listened to all yeah, the time, yeah, uh-huh. then they know when someone's about to snap. Yeah. So or so they're letting it happen because you can watch every conspiracy theory and say they let it happen. Yeah. Or oh, it never. It, it was this and that. That was a, a person paid by the government to do the shooting in Vegas and all this stuff. Yeah. So, so if they know that this is going to go down, Speedy's about to snap. He's been fucking walking around. His Why house. does he keep being the example? Because he's sitting here next <laughs> to me. Speedy got his ass whooped. Okay, yeah. Speedy's Josh. the killer. Yeah, everything. That's what you get for being a teacher for forty years. Yeah. From Laredo. You're an ex- and from Laredo. That's from very Laredo. important. That's important. So, so Speedy, I'm going to keep using Speedy fucked up in this. this is my show. Okay. <laughs> so, so Speedy's about to snap. I'm yeah. about to snap, man. And he's about to snap. Attack and, you with a dozen of tamales and, or something. And, and, right? the and, snap. and the government's right here listening to him lose his shit, right? Yeah. Right. They're, they're, they're listening to him buy yeah. gun. They, they're tracking his sales. He, they know in, he, where he's been. Yeah, they he's don't the do gun. anything. He's at the gun store buying more guns and ammo. Yeah. He's got 20 guns now. He's going to the fucking shooting range, getting to honing in his skills. You know, he's about to snap. The fucking government rushes in, grabs him, takes him and says, look, bitch. We know you're about to fucking Yeah, we've been fuck. following you. We're going to fucking, instead of your family being shamed and your fucking legacy being shit from here on out, we're going to drop you off in one of these fucking ISIS fucking houses or one of these fucking places where they're molesting Ooh. kids or one of these places that all this bad shit's going on somewhere in the world. It doesn't even have to be There's, the United oh, States. There is some, oh, and no. they're going to drop you off yeah. in there and let you go to town. Exactly what you wanted to do, but we're going to even give you some bombs and all this. Blaze of glory. Do some shit. And then we're going to blast you on the news of the big hero that you are for that's America. Right. And you're going right. to go from zero to hero. That's right. And that's going to be wow. your legacy. Drop in the and middle of Afghanistan zero, right now. zero to hero fucking program. We're dropping. Right? That's the way. And everyone goes, that was my, that, that, you know, I knew that dude. That dude was, he went out and fucking, you know, he saved fucking. What he kids. wanted to do. Yep. See? Pow. Wow. Well, that's wow. Kind of, fucking genius. That's well, kind of like Minority Report a little bit. Like, I don't know what Minority <laughs> Report. Well, the knowing, Tom movie? yeah, knowing that the what crime was going to happen before. No, but you it, didn't know. But you happened. just knew he was gearing up for something. Exactly. So I know the, the precogs. You got motherfuckers floating. And, and, I was floating in the pool all day today, and I didn't see nothing. They're happen. not necessarily brave people. They are. You're going to let them because they're going to shoot up. So you're week. gonna let but them leave their them dream without off. hurting the innocent. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We're going to let them live their fucking stupid dream, and without hurting without fucking innocent, innocent bystanders. People. Yeah, they're going to take out fucking people in the game. Drop in the top of Taliban or something. Just drop in yeah, there. Drop them off at the, the fucking child support office. 
Oh my with, God! With the a big yeah. battle royal there. Yeah, I jumped off with the IRS. You, you kind of like, went in the opposite way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of veered so a little bit to the left. That's yeah. like pretty much the most innocent people you could shoot Fuck there. Fuck that! No, not <laughs> kids. It's the people that run the office, motherfucker. Oh, the yeah. DMV. Yeah, the, yeah, the DMV. You're jumping off with the fucking DMV. None of these are threats. We'll these are all jokes. One of your yeah, shows, that's right. Nah. It's so weird, but you know, behind all that. That's an idea where you're saying if they're really following us through whether on social media and all that stuff, and you know that the guys at the brink, you see them every day in line at a sporting goods store getting all this ammo, and you see all these pictures of Hitler and all this stuff in his house and all What's these targets Wait, or whatever. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's wrong with Hitler? Oh, my God. No, <laughs> look, that's a hair talking right there. Oh, okay, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> that's zero to hero. You're going to live your dream. And God in the place of glory. It's a good program, right? And you everybody's like gonna think of you like, you know what? Look at this guy. All that rage and he used it for good. So something positive. And he's and he's happy now, because look what he did. Now do people know what the Zero to Hero program is about? Because if I know he was about to shoot up like a school and then I don't I still don't think he's a hero. I'm he's like, a zero. Gross. But he's trying to change it from zero to hero because he was gonna go from zero to worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. negative. He's going to the negative gonna, numbers. His whole family was gonna get fucking ch- yeah. It's like almost like Yolanda Saldivar. Uh, killing Selena, her whole family had to get the fuck out yeah. of town because everyone was shamed for that. Other family of Oswell, yeah, uh, stuff I don't know like who that. Oswell is, but, uh, but Oswell, uh, whatever you know, he did, we're, we're gonna. But Oswald, I'm sure, was his family wasn't very liked either. But Oswell <laughs> either. But I'm saying there's a lot of like he could save a lot of people a lot of heartache. Yeah. Like yeah. you watch because now they have these programs that. The dad was a serial killer. Have you seen that? They're talking to their kids yeah. and their wives and yeah. all of them now, and they had no clue. They went to the park and all this shit with this mother. Wait, was he a snack. serial killer or a hitman? No, this dude. No, that's the Ice Man. But there's a new one now. Uh, it's called the Monster. The Monster in Me or Monster in fa- Monster in the fa- Monster Inside. Yeah, the Monster and, Inside. The Monster Inside, and it's the dude who was in the family, and and there's all these old serial killers, and they're like the daughters are like we didn't know, like now we know that. There's all these people. He went that night that we after he dropped us off. He went out and killed two more people that night, wow. and he did this and that. Was he it burned a, him under the house? Is it a real story? Yeah, they're all real. Yes, they're, they're based on it's not. They're based situations. on serial killers. Yeah, on situations. They're all based yes. on like the, those serial killers had families. Most of yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. You know, and not, they work like Ted regulars. Kuklinsky, but they're a lot like the, that. Ted Kuklinski, the Kuklinsky, Iceman. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Kaczynski. Not Ted. The, the, the which one? The Iceman. The Iceman. Kuklinski. His name is Kuklinski. I think he was the one that was killing people for the mob. And he had a wife and kid at home. Oh, that, oh, hey. yeah, yeah, the one that was living the family life. And he but was yeah, he was doing it. Yeah, that's right. Just, that man had a talent. Uh, yeah, because he was like, it was a job. I mean, he was like the clean cut guy, but, the best husband, and yet he was so doing this was, on the uh, side. So, but you know what? He didn't. He didn't kill women. He didn't kill children. And oh, all the he bad people. Monsters, yeah. He killed evil people. Yeah, I have yeah. no problem with this. Man. But no, who's the dude? Uh, <laughs> well, who's yeah. the serial killer? The Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy was living like he was in law school. And you know, I, I mean, I, I'm not a, I'm not a hot or anything, but I mean, I like people. Like, he was such a good. I mean, none dude. of I mean, us assumed that back you were. Then, but he didn't seem like that handsome of a dude. That girls were, and girls must have been stupid as fuck back then, because he would walk up with a fake cast and go, "Can you help me put this in my Volkswagen?" And they would come over in a, their bikini at the beach because he was catching <laughs> them on the beach. Yeah, wow. walking, and then they'd walk off the beach, and then he'd and they'd bend over the, the fucking van and bonk, he'd hit him in the head and throw him in his fucking van, and they were off again, and there goes another one, and this fucker was doing that. Left and right, and wow. then he'd go back and date regular chicks, and they thought he was so handsome and suave. There and was a guy. Now they say this guy killing chicks in bikini and everything. There was a guy with me in one of my lit class back in college. Ooh, having a flash. He right was now. doing that too. No, no, check this out. <laughs> they said we we're talking about Jack the Ripper, and they said everybody's got to come up with a quote, invent a quote <clears throat> of a famous person that said something bad or something. Something that they would have said. Uh, well. Yeah, that did think this guy should have said this. Yeah. Say, well, Jack the Ripper would have been a guy that would have said, There's no such thing as ugly women in this world. There's only women that don't know how to look pretty. That was Jack the Raper. That was <laughs> <laughs> Well, he said that guy would have used a quote like that because he would just get everybody for for him. Yeah. They were all beautiful. Even the ugly ones. They but just didn't know how to look pretty for him, but he wouldn't discriminate. He, he would get him too. But but but, but he wasn't raping him. him. He was just cut, he was dissecting them. He dude. would. I mean, he was like he was of the lambs kind of guy. Yeah, he was butchering them. They were finding them disemboweled and all this kinds guy, of I mean, this stuff. Guy. But they thought he probably had some kind of doctor skills because he was doing like surging like cuts yes. on people, dude. Like he knew he knew something about the anatomy and how to cut people open. He used this a lot of those going around now. It's like some. See, they, he still and yeah, he was getting all prostitutes because people wouldn't go look for him. 
Yeah, he, he th- killed five people. They never caught him. He's, they think no, he's still alive today. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, man. Yeah, Let's, but you look, I mean... I mean, I, that sucks. Five people. That's some five great, 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 great grandmas. But yeah, you know what? There's someone that's descendants of his victims. I don't know. They're all prostitutes. Actually, it says. Oh, Does okay. prostitutes don't have descendants? Uh, they might not. They might. Yeah. You think? Well, I mean, you don't think they had kids? They were having sex. It's amazing. These are the ones that are like renowned. Yeah, everybody knows about him. Imagine in today's it's crazy like world. The first. That's why you got to be the first. Uh, yeah. Well. The, yeah. All the ones. That very, went or, down. Let's say they're very original. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you had to start it out, and yeah, I had to do something. Uh, um, but wow. th- imagine how many times that was going on in different places. It just didn't get reported. Well, no one talked about it. Like in Russia, we don't know about like if you go and look at like serial killer stuff from in Russia. Oh, oh dude, Man. talk about some like really nah, it's backwoods. Just, but that's a way of life over there. Uh, yeah, brutal, it's cold, a way of life. and it's just death. Like yeah, yeah. I, to me it seemed like it. Look at that, 30 confessed, 20 confirmed. And he kept confessing because he was trying to delay getting executed. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Stringing it out. Not really, of course, because you know what? <laughs> I had a friend who went to death row. and when How he, long was he in death row? Not very. Wow. Because he denied all of his appeals. He was one of the Texas Oh, seven. so he never did, because the appeals, you know, drag it on, drag it on, drag because, it on. And they do that. And usually the average, I think, is 10 years. The average used to be like 15 on yeah, death row. Yeah. But they yeah. changed it. They, they were trying to do more speedier processes and shit. And... Uh, but he went to death row. He was one of the Texas Seven. He, oh, yes. He yes. escaped from prison. Yes, um, yes. And they killed that cop. And they killed that That's cop. right, the Texas Seven. Yep, and they killed that cop in Arlington. And, that was uh, everywhere. And uh, he was a dude I grew up with, man. Wow. And uh, when he went to death row, he just denied all of his appeals and shit, and they executed him. I'm talking within five years, five, six wow. years. Ex- he's dead. Man, that was quick. Because there's still some of those dudes on death row right man, now. Man, there's some guys from the 70s and 80s still on death row. Like, what's going on here? Yeah, like, we're not oh. in Texas. No, here they have the express lane, yeah, right? They'll get a, you yeah, quickly. Yeah, they, they're gonna put you through. No, no, but oh, like there's some places that hey, that guy was like twenty something. He's like sixty, and he's still there waiting. They even have the the self check death row now that you could do in Texas. You're just tired of waiting. You're like, hey, bro, can I go, can I just go through it myself? <laughs> Come and then, on, man. Let's right. try. Come over here. There's nobody waiting in line. Yeah, I got shit I don't have to do tomorrow, so That's you know, right. like I don't want to. Let me get it over with. Oh man, there there, there it is, man. That. Some of these guys, man. They're the who's who right there. There they are. Yeah. Man, you see some of these guys in your Pedro life. Pedro Lopez. Man. For life, they're like. Dude, that dude, Albert Fish. That dude was one of the sickest motherfuckers. I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, he used to stick pieces of steel in his scrotum. I think it was him. Wow. In his scrotum to feel pain. And they were they found it in his ball sack or some shit when he died wow. or some shit like that like he self mutilation and stuff not mut- like he was just driving nails into him wow. spikes into himself and uh, yeah he the dude was fucking pretty cool to hang out with at parties <laughs> who's the um, sickest serial killer ever yeah um uh, i mean i don't know there's so many of them but yeah that's uh the, there's so many of them and they they keep finding him they keep finding new ones and you know what's crazy like uh how do you feel about charles manson the dude's been painting it as a devil. I mean, the dude obviously looking at him with. The I gotta, I gotta be honest he with you. Never killed anyone. When I was growing up, like in the sixties and seventies, going to school, that's when he was in his full force. Yeah. This guy, that's why when everybody and recently you get these people that have followers, and you know that the only thing they're gonna bring you is problems and all that. But there's something about them that makes you wanna follow and do stuff for them that you know it's gonna be on you. Charismatic. Well, shit. well Manson. This guy, really, he, all he did was tell people like, look, blah, 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 or think or whatever. They will all go and do it. He never really uh, pushed anybody. They painted him out. They painted him out like, I mean, I'm not, I can't defend the dude really, you know, but I'm just saying, if the dude really didn't go kill anyone and if he really like couldn't control these people, bro, they were all homeless motherfuckers out there running around doing drugs. They could have gone and done that shit, and then, but the way that they portrayed it was yes. like, well, yeah, he, they, they did some horrible shit. And what shit. didn't help him, but every time he had an appeal, he would go off on everybody on the board. Yeah, and he was he was just <laughs> angry at the world, and he was an idiot, too. I mean, the dude was smart, like, but, yes, but he, was, yes. he was an intelligent psycho. This guy. But I don't know if that dude, like, really got those people to go, oh, yeah, look at his face. That's acid, bro. That's from doing too much acid and shrooms. But that guy, the people, he had that gift he of died, people right? having, he, yeah, he's recently, not like, that yeah, far not back, even that, long that ago. followers, 
people for whatever reason. That's all he wanted was followers. They and, had nothing. And, I mean, he you got a couple go of people in history, but he's uh, one of the main ones that, for whatever reason, people would say, I would give my life for you. I would do that for whatever reason. They have that gift that just like uh, uh, the Guyana tragedy, Jim it, Jones. It's 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 that took that when he did it. It's who he had murdered. It's the way yes. he had the murder. How gruesome yeah, the, it was. The uh, the actress who was pregnant. Yeah, Sharon Tate. Yeah, yeah Sharon Tate. There you go. Yeah, he he killed Sharon Tate. If you were to um, say, you know what, and, and he killed the heiress to the Folgers uh, fortune. That he was, was very there picky too. of who of he didn't like. Yeah, he didn't <laughs> like the rich, but he tried. You know, he tried to be. He recorded with the Beach Boys. He yes. was friends with one of the dudes from the Beach Boys, and he recorded with them, and he never really made it. He was a musician, but he never... He thought he was going to be a superstar. So in his head, he was failing. But the, but someone that's failing, like, do you think other people would say, man, you're not that good. Like, why am I going to go kill people for this dude that couldn't... No, he had a gift. People well, would do... I mean, it's like... Uh I don't know, really delusional people that you meet. And we've all yeah. met very delusional people yeah. in yeah. comedy. We, if you run around and look for those people and, and want to hang out with them, I guess you could go and convince yeah. those people. In fact, you look at, look at some relationships. You have a guy or a girl, vice versa, it don't matter, where you say, man, how can you be with that dude? Or how can you be with that? That person's crazy, and yet you do everything they tell you, and you know it's wrong, and there it is. There it is. In a way, there it is. You're, you're somehow there's something about their aura or something that whatever you think is wrong, I'll go do it for you. So that you can be happy and you can be satisfied. Well, this guy, he had a gift because a lot of people felt like if he would like you said, I don't like this person. I think this person will we'll take care of it. And they would do it. And he reached that status without having to, ha to die. Because usually if you're going to be a cult like leader like that, you have to die within your cult. But he but, got okay. arrested for a gruesome That's murder. That's what saved him. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you know if... What, what year was uh, 69, right? Late, late 60s. It wasn't the late, late 60s. Like 68, 69. I think yeah. 69. Um, was there the death penalty at that time? I know it got abolished at some point, And then is that why he stayed on? He was never on death row or was he on death row and then he, he got commuted to life? Because I know they abolished the death penalty sometime in the 70s. It was the summer of 69. Summer yeah, of 69, this guy, right? My God. And because he, they never executed him. No. And if you did, if no. he told those people to do what they did, that motherfucker deserves the death penalty. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like you said, if at that point, and uh, they, they had abolished it or no, this guy, he kind of enjoyed every so many years when you come up for an appeal or whatever, you're going to the board. He, he would, up in front oh of that, my God. The attention he got. And they would always televise that. That's when you knew he was still alive. Well, you know, those girls got out. The ones that went and did it just got out. Man. Sexy Sadie and blah, blah, whatever. Man, those he things. had followers. and They all got out. They were they're the ones that did it. The they actual, cut the baby yeah. out of that chick and they got out. They but, fucking got out. But you know how it is that you just said a little while ago, you're an accessory if you're the one that motivated him to go do it. But I know, but they did it. They yeah, should spend the li their, their life in there too. If you did something, if you could be that stupid to do something so horrific, you should, you know, I mean, they didn't execute you. You got lucky. So spend the, your fucking life in there. You know, look like, and he you know, it's another one. That's another one. And I know I have, a, uh, my sister, and my brother-in-law are personal friends with this dude with, um, uh, the the husband of uh, the girl who drowned all her kids in Houston. Oh, yes. That was some years back. Yeah, I know. Which one Andrea you talking about? Yates. Yes. Okay. Yes. My brother-in-law went to college and worked with him at NASA with, yes. uh, with Rusty Yates. Yes, and Yates. When, there she is. When she drowned all her kids, those five, my sister has five kids. She would have parties and they would be there with their kids at all the parties. Wow. And then when the day that she drowned all her kids, my sister called before it even hit the news and said, my friend just drowned all of her kids. And she was found guilty of it. Yes. They didn't give her death penalty. She's in a fucking mental institute. She got life. Yeah, because, you know, that's... She's in Kerrville. Th th oh, that's right, because it... <clears throat> okay, we have a friend in Kerrville, and when that happened, we were doing a show in Kerrville, said, you know that lady Yates, that we just put her She's over here, the and over they had there, all yeah. this protection and everything when they took her over there to the institution there. Yeah. It just happened. He got remarried. My my brother, my sister, and my brother in law went to the wedding. Wow! In, in, um, in Peru, I remember hearing about uh, that. We did a show, and right before that show, they said they just brought her in here, yeah. and it was like a big thing. CNN, everybody was here. Yeah, she's over in wow. in Kerrville, and that's right. Um, you know, if 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 you're guilty of doing that, you deserve the death penalty. The eye for right? an eye thing. Yeah. No, I mean, if no. we have if we have a death penalty, what the fuck do we have a death penalty for? If you're gonna be able to kill five kids and not get it, wow. 
Because they should have found her not guilty by reason of insanity if she was crazy. And they were going to put her at the mental hospital. Just, just legally saying, what would happen, let's say, if your wife did that and then you came home and you found he out? He stuck by her. Oh. He stuck by her oh, side throughout the trial wow. and everything. Then he divorced her at, later on. I was going to say I would beat the shit out of her. Yeah. My first inclination. I would never do that to my wife. What, but he, you drown the kids. But you he know, you might your get Your kids. Asked. This is what you they said. What happened? He, he, <laughs> she went to school and got the last one, the oldest one, who was like seven or eight. And it was a girl, I think, and picked up the last one and brought her home from school early. And she saw all the other kids laying on the bed wet in puddles and freaked out and tried to run. And the mom grabbed her and dragged her to the fucking restroom and put her in the bathtub wow. and drowned her too. That one put up a fight. And then she called her husband and said, I did something bad. And he said, to who? And she said, the kid. And she said, which? And he said, which one? She said, all of them. Wow. And he hauled us home and found them all dead. That's and he stuck up. by her side. Dude. Wow. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's... That is fucking crazy, bro. I mean, the dude. Dudes, okay, okay. Now, you said... I couldn't have done it. No, no, no. We're saying cult, cult... Exactly. Cult members and how you can get them under your spell, whatever... What if he was just like, I don't want to be in a family anymore. What if he convinced the wife? You know what I mean? I'm going to be gone. Well, she like, well, what this. if she would have gone I'll with that angle and said, he he told me to do this. He's been asking me to do this. He's wanted me to do this. I know you wanted me. She just stuck yeah. with that story. What if yeah. she wow. just, he, he could have spent the rest of his life because yeah. he could have found an overzealous prosecutor that said, yes. Yes, oh, he yeah. did do that. Oh, yeah. 100%. In, I believe you 100%. In today's no world. No mother would kill her own kids. In her, no mother could do that yes. unless he made her do it. Yeah, yeah. That would be a good defense right you know? there. Yeah. You know, and that, that oh, very yeah. easily could have had some dude just fucking come in hardcore and just thought that that's 100% that happened or some yeah. Convince a jury woman, and all that. you know, prosecutor doing that. So you think that's why he stayed married to her the whole time? No, I don't think that's why. I just think that they, I don't, that dude is one Maybe of he super felt that if he were to get rid too, of her dude. real quickly... That no, might show well, some this guilt. Out, dude. They lived in a fucking bus. She was an RN. She was an RN first. She kept having kids and she kept having postpartum depression after each kid. And she kept getting, it was worse and worse. And then they had this weird religious beliefs or something. I don't know what it was, but they lived in a fucking bus. Him, a fucking engineer at NASA. Her, an RN. Wow. They keep having kids and they're living in a, like a gutted school bus that they made to sleep in. Wow. And would just drive around in that bus and live in it. And it was just odd, you know. They, they, with, and then it just started getting she worse. She drowned the kids on a bus? No, then they finally got out of the bus. Oh. And they moved into a house. And they were living a normal life because they had all these kids now. Now they had five kids. And it seemed kind of normal. But she would get worse and worse with postpartum after each kid. So you know, she snapped. You know, you know what you're supposed to eat if you have uh, postpartum? Are you supposed to eat? Yeah. Well, you got to eat to stay alive. No, no, no. So I what imagine you're supposed you do to eat. eat. I'm saying what you're supposed to eat. Uh, wow. What they do the kids? is after your birth is uh, <laughs> the placenta. They take the placenta and they dry it out. That's cats. Like beef jerky, they dry it out. Oh. Mention it again. Then, uh, yeah, you know, it's almost and like. Then they, they cut it up and then they put it in pills, capsules, and you take those and it takes away your postpartum. Depression. I don't wow. believe that. That's almost no know. to me. That's like giving a fucking pit bull the taste of blood. And then fucking maybe they did that, and then she said, mm, well, "That tastes like babies." And she just like wagyu the beef. It's, it's hooked on it. It's something yeah. with the hormones within the placenta wow. that it evens. That's them disgusting, out. dude. What you just but, said, but dude. scientifically, might make. My, my wife did it. That is disgusting, dude. That my is wife ate gross. her placenta. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> silence of silence of the lambs here. Yeah, We're yeah, like, I come know, on, dude. man. That sounded <laughs> sexual and. <laughs> Who's your next guest? Hannibal yeah. Lecter, you know, that's, coming yeah, in that's here. It's supposed to be your job, Josh. <laughs> My God, he brought bring him in a dolly. He's the yeah. next guy for the next podcast, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, with a bottle uh, of Kia. Uh, I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, but you, but you know that, that there's another case of I think a woman in Hawaii that did the almost the exact same thing. She drowned all five of her Copycat. kids. Copycat. <laughs> so they they were saying that's what I think that's part of the thing that the prosecution used that she knew what she was doing because that other woman that did it years ago got found not guilty. So reason of insanity. Precedence. They have so already she did it yeah. thinking, oh, I'm just going to play this same game. Oh, yeah. That she didn't want kids anymore. That, that's what, that she just didn't want kids anymore. And so that that's why she got rid wow, of them. Wow, why don't we get rid of them, right? No shit, dude. But I don't know. I mean, that's there's, there's uh, crazy people out there. People that go off and do a lot of things. Yeah. But if you do stuff like that and, and do multiple killings 
I guess go go to the right state and do it because not every state has a <laughs> no, death penalty. No, because you know? uh, it's state mandated. You know, a lot of these laws depend, like they say, it's not what you do, it's where you do it. Yeah. And yeah, there is a lady, I don't know, I think it might have been Texas, where she dro- she drowned eight of her kids. Eight? But at different times, but they just kept dying. Oh, she was yeah, doing she, the Munchausen by proxy kind of she shit. She's just like every few years, a kid would die. I think I heard something about that when I yeah. read all these morbid well, stories. Well, I get on, go down rabbit holes. That's like that's like marriage. Be careful what state you get married in. Yeah, kind of the same thing. Yeah, because what alimony? That's and right. All that shit. So like you that. don't want to marry in California or Louisiana or in or Texas. Or you don't have to marry. No, that's, that's there's no I know, there, the, you common law. Common law. Yeah. yeah well, if you, present, my, if you present yourself as husband and wife, or if you buy stuff together, don't do the income tax together. Well, I, you know, I don't. You know, I'm already like me. I bought a house with my girl. We just bought a car. Um, we just bought a Lexus Monday. Uh, wow! Um, so together and yeah, we yeah, like we don't have to even go through the ceremony. You know what I mean? I got friends that have kids, being with their wife. Like, what? Well, that, oh, you you're from Laredo. Laredo, Laredo, Laredo. Laredo. And then they go, but we're not married. I said. Wow, you're the only one that thinks that, probably. You yeah. do your income tax together, you have a house, you've been living together for years, you have kids, you do this, and yet you're still using that to feel good inside. But I'm not married. Yeah, so, uh-huh. you know, I want, I, want all, I want to have my cake and eat it too. You know what I mean? No. See, I, you know, I would, that stupid-ass <laughs> phrase, why wouldn't you eat your own cake? That's, you know, that's like saying, I want to have my money and spend it too. Yeah. Of course. It's my fucking money, it's that's my right. cake, I'm going to eat the motherfucker. So why do people say yeah, that? Yeah, that thing about... It, it's Eat some, your own cake. It's yeah. something that broke people like to say. Yeah, I guess <laughs> <laughs> that, one, that which that which does not kill me only makes me stronger. Nah, dude, when I fell in the skate park, it didn't kill me. But yeah. my shit is weak than a motherfucker right now. <laughs> dude, <I> fucking, <laughs> my fucking ankles are hurting. My hands are hurting. But inside, you are stronger as a man. Oh, <laughs> man. I, it broke me mentally, Listen, learn. physically. Listen, dude. learn. I, I cry hey, at night. You got like Miyagi now. Yeah, inside, no, inside. Fuck <laughs> no, dude. That shit hurt, dude. That motorcycle wreck, dude, when I tore my ACL, my MCL, and crushed no. my meniscus. And I'm still recovering from that shit, man. Like, it doesn't make you stronger. No. It made me think twice. <laughs> that was yeah, the H will do so, that. So, again, mentally, it made you stronger because it made you wiser. Just Makes you think. Fucking mouth. Makes you think of it, especially when you're getting older. You don't recover quickly. Hell no. Oh, dude, I know, dude. I'm, I'm Like like I said, I, I fell in the skate park, man, a, a month and three weeks ago now. A month and three weeks, dude. And I, I'm, I thought I'd be ready to skate by now, dude. Like, you know, it used to be... You fell and jumped and up and said, I got yeah. it, dude. I, I, I know what youth. I did wrong. Youth. I fell, I got up, and I went, Uh-oh, about not time. a month, month and a half. I, I'll be back in a month no, and a that's, half. That's the age factor. Dude, right there. yeah. And I'm that's still the age not right. factor. How do you know if you broke a, a, a bone in your foot? You well, go to know. the hospital. You know, it swelled up no. like that. It did. It swelled up quickly. It did. And I haven't gone to the hospital. Wow. And it's still swollen. Yeah, because I broke a plane soccer, and then I messed up my knee. Within a blink, what's going on? They're putting air in it? Like, yeah, dude, they'll my swell shit, up. My, my ankle swelled up real bad and turned purple. Yeah. But, and then I couldn't walk on it the next day I, or the next few days. I had crutches for the next few days. But I iced it and I kind of like just nursed it. And it started to hit, like, swelling started to go down right away. So I thought it, it was a real bad so sprain. So you know what I think I did? I think either like a real, real bad sprain or I kind of got a slight fracture because... Like, the more I think I could do stuff, like, I, I cut the grass, and I'll go, I, I went swimming, and I'm kind of paddling around the pool getting some exercise, and then my ankle hurts later on, like, for fucking the whole day. So, I probably have a slight fracture in it, but well, they don't do nothing for a slight fracture anyway. Yeah. You just stay off of it. Nope. Don't put any weight on it. I dropped a 20-pound kettlebell on my foot. But Thursday. that's not how those work. I know. D- d- yeah, you're, yeah. Dude, you're supposed in, to. Uh, my, like, my toes are purple. Really? You broke yeah. one, you think? I hope not. Because the, the top of the top of it hurts. And they change colors. I can walk. Purple, Ooh, bird, do you orange, know what I did too? yellow. I did yellow. Like, I'm at yellow. Yeah, right yeah, now. you're at yellow because it goes through like a phase green, of like green, Rubik's, Rubik's cube. It's like Rubik's cube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But the toes are definitely it's a purple. sequence, dude. Yeah, I, I think I when I fell, I bent my toes back too. Oh. So my toes <laughs> hurt. Dude. I'm a pretty ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is without scary, wearing the bro. shoes, without the shoes, <laughs> dude. I did everything. You know what I did? This That's is the what hard I did. way. I fell, I fell sideways, slapped my hands, banged my elbow, threw my shoulders back, fucking whipped my neck, and fucking banged both of my my Man. knees. Oh shit! And Man. hurt both of my ankles, dude, like a car wreck. Um. 
And then he stood up and goes, I'm 50. That I got up. No, <laughs> I can still do this. Dude, no. I got up and I thought I was going to skate back and out of the boom. pool. No, I got up and I went to stand on the board. And you went down. Once. No, I, and my, I knew I just couldn't put all the weight on it and push. I went, oh, no. And so I stepped back and I just picked up the board and I walked out of the bowl. And this kid that I told to watch me and tell me, I thought he was looking at me. <laughs> you were laughing. No, he was, he was just serious. He was just staring at me. He goes, are you okay, man? I said, yeah, man, how'd I look? He goes, man, I thought you were going to die, man. I was <laughs> like, I messed I was up. Like, <laughs> like, shit, I thought I was going to die too, motherfucker. I was, like, oh, <laughs> I was telling everyone that when I saw that new skateboarding thing on the Olympics, I'm like, so that... So that's how Edward does stuff like that. I don't know if he does that. No, I don't do that. But that I said, man, because this kid is flying off those I, edges yeah. and everything. I do. I do one of those. Man. That's, it. that's all. Like they, you know, they're just stringing it together. I'm just happy to do one, and that's it. And then some that's of these, it. my God, oh yeah, they're, they're flying sick. all over the place. Yeah, they're fucking sick, man. But yeah, now nah, I'm trying. I'm hoping. I'm hoping in the next month I'm gonna be able to go back to the skate park, do that trick again, wow. land it. And and then shelve it. I'll be good with it. Oh, but I'm going to get it on video. That's he wants closure. Yeah. I, 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 I <laughs> you know, we all say we got closure. We need I, closure. I, I, I want I want to get the feel of landing. I used to do them in the 80s, and I think I, I, used to, I did them in the 2000s when I came back from prison. I did it. Um, but I just haven't done it since. So I think I'm right there. Wow. Anyway. So I know it, it, we're getting around that time. What you got coming up, Speedy? You got anything coming uh, up? Not offhand. Like I said, in right now, right now, I'm kind of focusing on, like, uh, just... Being real cautious, even though I'm not one of those cautious oh, you persons. Mean the of what? What do you call? Well, about? just that, like not being Aids. like in giant crowds of anything, and kind of be a little bit cautious. But so I'm, I'm very selective. I don't do Aids. I don't do a lot of like you know some comics do all the open mics. I don't yeah. do any of that. Oh yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Just do like like in other words, when Marsha called me and I said, "Okay, who am I working with?" Edward, yeah, I'm there. Like, you know, I'm very selective with who I work yeah. with, people that I feel comfortable with. said Josh, you'd be like, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now, right now, just kind of like laying back and let's see what happens because we're, I think, at a turning point where it's going to get either real bad or maybe start getting better, but I don't think so. Well, I have, uh, I'm doing uh, Las Chiladas on the 28th. Uh, of August or? Uh-huh, of this month. I think I saw something on the 20th, but maybe. I'm doing Las Chiladas. Um I'm headlining it. Uh, Who are you doing that with? Joshua J. Nieto's going to uh, host. Uh, Jay, I haven't seen him Yeah, Joshua's going to host. Uh, V-Dog's going to do... V-Dog. He's supposed to do a guest spot, but V-Dog's V-dog. asked for guest spots Fluffy. multiple times. Fluffy, Fluffy. V-Dog, V-Dog gets scared. Uh, he backs out. So wow. Let, let me see if V-Dog's going to go. He's supposed to go. I hope he does. because no, And Raul Sanchez is going to feature. Raul. Raul's coming out, dude, out of his... Bring his, your cap, his, yeah, Texas Rangers, he's bring it. out of his shell to, to feature, so that's going to be a fun one. Yeah, I like Raul, he's a real nice guy. Maybe right, I can throw you cool. up there and give you a five-minute spot or something. Yeah, the 28th want. of this month. It's Saturday night. Yeah, Chiladas. Last Chiladas. The last Saturday of August. Yep. I'll that's swing true. by, yeah, if I don't have, I don't think I have anything, I'll swing by, because I love that stage, yeah, and man. the people are there for comedy. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And yeah, Cleto, you know, can give, give a little shout-out to Cleto, yes. who's still... Is Cleto still in the hospital? He got out already. He did? He's home? Yeah, he was interviewed. Sad to say, I saw it on the news today. He got interviewed, like, from the car, and sad to say that his, you know, all condolences, his father-in-law passed away. That's right. That's what I saw. And he was a, I, I met him a couple of times at some gatherings, and uh, he was real cool, real nice guy. But just goes to show that... He had Rona? Uh, Yes. And that was, that's what killed him? Yeah, well. Oh, he was old. He was an older, older gentleman. But it was Rona too. Uh, and, and he had probably, I don't, I'm not sure if he had any pre-existing condition, but just goes to show that everybody, I mean, we're all, yeah. you know, it can happen. And, and I feel bad because all the family seemed to be at a very bad situation at the same time. Well, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and like, and Cleto would post, I'm here and he's a few rooms down oh, and yet. Right. But, you know, and, uh, but. It's a lot of people going through that, dude. Oh, I, I know. I know someone who had a wedding, and four people in the wedding caught Rona and died. Like wow. all from the same family. They were all brothers and sisters. Wow. The mom and two brothers and a sister all fucking got Rona, Rona yeah. and died at the wedding. You know, and that's just terrible, man. And it, it's it's real. So you know, uh, before we get out of here, though, man, I'd like, I I want to give a big shout out to uh to Big Clay. You yes. know, Big Clay passed away recently to his wife. Yes. You know, I know she's going through a tough time too. You know, and hope. That uh, things get better for her and she's pregnant, you know. Wow. She's pregnant. Uh, she's gonna have a little big clay or something, you know, to you know have his legacy live on. That yeah. dude was a fucking badass dude, you know. Yeah. Real and tall. Yeah. <laughs> that dude was a badass dude, man. It, it sucks, man. You know, miss the dude. You know, you see one day they're there and then the next That's day right. you're like, bro, I, 
you want to pick up the phone and call him and he's he's not there yeah. you know and that's just and i didn't even josh had a good relation you know i i when i saw him we were badass but josh was working out with him hanging out with him on the reg wow. you know and that sucks when all of a sudden someone's just yeah gone. first of all bad i remember miguel lorenzo i saw him on friday did a show on friday the next week on monday he's passed what i was just working with him this weekend it yeah. happens well, every time i hear you say that a lot about people that you just worked with them and they passed away so i'm starting to think it might be you uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to be the bad yeah, luck. You might be the Grim Reaper. Uh, I'm so, the Grim Reaper uh, yeah, from yeah, Laredo. I don't want to hear it. I just did a show with Edward. Fuck that. Uh, no. <laughs> but yeah, man. So, uh, you know, just everyone, you know, I'd like to say, you know, everyone shout, uh, give a shout out to Big Clay and everyone be safe out there, man. There's some fucked yes. up times and some real shit's going yeah. down, man. Um, Speedy, thanks for coming out, yes. bro. I want to give a, like, kind of a shout out, like, if you want to call it. This isn't the To so all the it. students out there, hang in there, be safe, wear your mask, and remember, guys, Hang in there and everything will pay off at the end. And parents, don't worry. School districts, they're going to try their best to take care of your kids. But there's only so much they can do. So have faith and good luck to all of you. Yeah, Governor Abbott sucks. All right, <laughs> there we go. Peace. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>